we are, January 30th. And Tony, we're working on his science project. Tony, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're doing today? Uh, we're getting the materials and we're going to do the whole project. Okay, and what materials do are we getting? What did we just get? Uh, we need dry ice. And did we just buy that? Yes. Uh, what was the name of the store? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, Quick Ice. Quick Ice. Make sure you write that down. Yeah, I got that. Okay, and now where are we? ATB, and we're getting three liquids that so I'm going to test the dry ice in. Okay, do you and remember? They, and they are lemonade, oil, and ink. And ink. And then what else are we going to try at home that we already have that we don't have to buy today? Uh, water? Oh, yeah. And milk? Yeah. And yeah, I think that's it, right? No, we have juice. And juice. That was the last one. Okay. You ready to go in the store? Uh, after I finish writing. Okay, finish writing down and then we're going to go into HEB and buy the rest of the supplies. Okay, Tony. What did we just do? Dirty ATV. Lemonade. Oil and rubber cement. Okay, and some gloves to hold the dry ice, correct? Yeah, some gloves to hold the dry ice. Okay. Acid. Sounds good. I guess we can head home now. Yep. Alright, Tony, how many equal sized pieces are you going to try to make there? Six. Okay. Here's the hammer and screwdriver to. Try to break six relatively equal sized pieces. No, no. Put the screwdriver on it. There you go. And then you... No, in the... Yeah, there. And hammer on top of the screwdriver. Okay, like that. One piece. I think these two are about even. Okay, keep going. Use the hammer. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It'll break off. Ow. <laughs> Try not to hit yourself. Oh. Oh, right a piece right here. I think this will be a leftover. Okay, that's fine, Tony. Okay, Tony. We're starting the experiment. We're going to start with water. With each of these liquids, we're going to what? We're going to try to see... What different effects it has on dry. So what types of effects could we possibly see? We could possibly see more freezing. We could possibly see it actually melting. And we could possibly see it... It, um... How about more fog or less oh fog? Oh yeah, more fog or less fog. Okay, so we're starting with the water. All right. Pour Quarter in. cup of each liquid. So what do we see? I see a lot more steam rising up. Yeah? Ooh, look at that. That's pretty good. It's still kind of low, though. It's not, like, uh, overpowering, but it's a fair amount. Yeah, it's a fair amount. Now, next one. Um, I think next we'll do the car oil. Okay, hang on a second. Um, it froze due to the, due to the dry ice. I have no idea. So, so milk actually froze on the bottom here. Yes. Unlike some of the other liquids, it froze more. Oh, maybe the milk froze at the bottom, so less of the milk got to get to the smoke. That's yeah. why there was less smoke. Yep, that sounds like a good, a good reason. Okay, Tony, before you start, uh, remind us what we've done. We've uh, wiped, wiped out of the water out of the bowl, what? right? Yeah. We, we've wiped the water out of the bowl. So it, we know that the oil is going to react on its own and without the water. Yeah. We also wiped off the water that was in the measuring cup, right, to make sure that it was going to be n not uh, contaminating the water that was already in there. Yeah. Okay, you ready? This yeah. is motor oil. Two-cycle engine oil. On top, Tony, on top. Oh, interesting. What happened, Tony? Interesting. What did the you see? The dry ice is repelling it. Right. It didn't seem to make any effect, it's really. It's sort of like a shield. It's sort of like a solid seal. Oh, I, I think I see the oil sort of... I see the oil sort of 
sucking up part of the dry ice. All right, and I now, did? Tony, th think about this. So. Think about this. So, have you ever heard that water and oil don't mix? Yeah. So, just the, the oil didn't mix with the, even though this is not water, it's, it's frozen CO2, but it's a solid, so it did not mix with the solid, right? It had no effect on it. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and take that piece of dry ice out. We're going to clean the bowl out now. It might take us a little while. And get ready for the next. Thing. Okay, the next bit we're going to be doing. What, what Tony? On lemonade in there. What now? On lemonade. On lemonade. So lemonade is the next liquid that we're going to test, right? Okay, yeah, go ahead. That sound? Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Whoa! It's adding more fog. Now, how does that compare to the water? Do you think? I think I'm gonna try. Do you see a difference between that and the water? Yeah. Move your hand. What do you see? How would you describe it differently? Uh, it's like some of it's getting pushed out and the water is sort of just like stayed still. Move your hands. Would you say that it's, it's coming up higher than the water did? Mm, yeah. Okay, you think there's more smoke than the water? Stop blowing out. Well, I think there's the same as smoke. I just think it's rising higher. Is it it's rising higher? Okay, we're ready for the next liquid. Next up is what, Tony? Milk. Quarter cup of milk. Okay, let's see what the milk does. Oh, we smell all. It's okay. What do we see? I see some more flow. Okay, step back. Don't breathe seems in it yet. Like Let's the see. Simplest one. It seems like probably a little bit less than the others, or is it about the same? Less. Way yeah. less. Yeah, way less smoke. It's not smoking up as much. Okay. That's good. Alright, put that back. What's in next, Tony? Juice. And I and this is grape juice. Alright. So you can test different juices also. All right. Oh, a little spilled. It's okay. What do we see? There's way less smoke. Way less smoke. Not very much at all, is there? Yeah, way the, less smoke. The lemonade had way more, but probably because the lemonade had more water in it. Oh, and the milk. Wait, the milk was way higher than this. Yeah, even the milk was higher than the juice. Hmm. We'll have to think about that. Maybe do some research and see why that is. Okay. Okay, Tony, what's the last liquid we're going to try? Rubber cement, and that's because it would be easier to clean Okay, up. don't worry about that. Just pour it into the measuring cup, and then put the lid back on. Okay, that's good. Close the lid, please. We don't want it to spill. Okay, Tony. This is Elmer's rubber cement. Go ahead. Mm, look at that. Oh, it's bubbling up. It's bubbling up. So Looks like a different kind of chemical reaction than all the other liquids, huh? Yeah. Interesting. It starts bubbling up. It must be the different things used to make it. Right. Must be a chemical reaction with a different chemical. Whoa, and, and the bubbles are non stop. Whenever one goes out, another one and, and goes out. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting. Okay, oh, Tony. Oh, and it's starting to bubble up at the bottom. Also. Yep. Okay, Tony, let's go back inside. We're going to take some notes on your journal and uh, we'll start putting the product together. Leave it alone.